assume maybe English, but uh, how is your Italian compared to the other languages you know? Uh, my Italian is actually better. I mean, better than my English. Yeah? Oh, yeah. What's your, what's your language that you feel most comfortable speaking? Um, obviously French. Yeah. yeah, French and Italian, obviously. I know. What, what have you told your teammates about getting ready to go to Italy, what they should expect? Uh, you know, when we talk about Italy, we talk about uh, good food, you know. <laughs> um, it's a Christian country, it's a tourist country, so it's a combo of everything, you know. How excited were you when you found out that this trip was going to be for the team? Uh, I was so excited. Yeah, you know, obviously I'm going home because Italy is my, you know, I can call Italy home because I spent five years there, so. So the rest of the team count on you to be a tour guide? Are you going to be pointing out places? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. Yeah, what some places you tell them they uh, Vatican. Okay. We're going to go see the Pope, obviously. Is this part of Georgia's recruiting sales pitch team? <laughs> <laughs> Confident, though. <laughs> where, where did you spend your most time in Italy? Uh, Bologna. Okay. Bologna and Reggio Emilia. It's about um, 45 minutes away from Bologna because mm -hmm. Bologna is a big city, you know. Mm -hmm. So Reggio Emilia is a small town, but really, really famous. Do you have family and friends still in that area? Yeah, I got family in France, Italy, Germany, so almost everywhere. What's your favorite meal? What's your, what you gonna tell them they got an order when they get? Uh, obviously, um, you know the pizza was born in Napoli. Uh, you know you guys know the pasta, carbonara, uh, lasagna, uh, Alfredo. So there's a lot of good meat, man. Like where I was Reggio Emilia, they got a good gnocco frito. Gnocco frito. So it's something they got edbatsone, gnocco frito. So they got a lot of small things that are really good that you have to actually go there, you know. So how old were you when you lived in Italy? I was I moved there when I was 14, 14 and a half. Yeah. What's your favorite memories of, of living there? Um, I had I have a lot of memories there. So I would say I went to see the Pope there. I spent 10 to 15 minutes in mass there. There was like about 10,000 people. I'm sorry, <laughs> 10,000 people there. So it was just crowd. Everybody was like yelling the Pope, you know. So it was it was amazing. And while you're there, you guys still gonna get some work in. You gonna feel it's gonna be a good atmosphere for you guys to. Yeah, for sure. We we got three games to play, so we're gonna play some professional team there, and obviously we're gonna lock in and have some fun after. What, what drew you to Georgia in, in the recruiting? What, that again, please. What drew you to Georgia? What interested you in Georgia? Uh, that's a big. That's a good question. Uh, obviously, um, Mike White um, has a good background with my people so it was like kind of easier to get contact with him and I saw what he did before what he's done before and I was just you know I got that, just that feeling with him which, which people are you talking about, about uh, your new teammates I mean what are what's kind of a jump out as far as uh, the team you're joining actually we got nine new guys so we are so excited I think we have a um, same plan you know get together build this team culture the chemistry and to be ready for the season that's obviously why we're taking a trip for Italy because we have to uh, come together. What's it been like getting settled in Georgia? Has there been anything that's been like a culture shock or anything like that? Uh, can you ask that question in a different way? Yeah. Um, what's been the biggest adjustment just living in Georgia, being here, being in Athens? Uh, obviously, I already spent almost two, two months here, so I haven't really done, you know, I haven't really have time to do the camp tour because we've been practicing, be ready for Italy. But I'm going to answer that. In, give me two more months, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what are a couple of things that you've been telling your teammates to get ready for uh, before this trip? Yeah, the, the, um, the thing I said is uh, it's a different world. So Italy is a different country. And obviously I've been there before. I've been here, so I can tell the difference. You know, this, every, everything is different. So it's going to be a new world for a lot of guys on the team. Everything's going to be new. A lot of people are not going to like the food first. They're going to like that after. So, yeah, that's it's going to be. But being that you're an official connoisseur of Italian food, the real stuff, you even bother eating Italian food in America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, um, a, lot, a lot of people say that uh, Chicago has the best pizza in America. Uh -huh. But I think New York got the best pizza in America. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. What about the flight? I mean, you can, you've done this before. You may have some teammates. I don't know if all your teammates have been on a flight this long. Um, what are you guys going to do on the flight? It depends. So if we get a Boeing 787, the new generation <laughs> Boeing, you know, <laughs> the Dreamliner is called, we're going to have some fun because it's obviously uh, a lot of space inside. 
and I know Delta is going to get us some good ones. I, I, don't, know, I don't know which one going to get, but I, I think it's Delta. So, because, you know, it's obvious nine hour, 10 hour flying. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. How do, you, how do you think your skills will translate from South Florida to the SEC uh, in terms of what you bring with your size and your length? Um, I think um, Americans a little bit underrated, you know, like it's a good competition there. So obviously it's the ACC is bigger and stuff, but like we got used to in the American, like the number one, number two team in the country all year last year. So we got Memphis to make a tournament every year, you know, so obviously it's a good league there but this one is a little bit tougher so I gotta be ready for that that's why we've been working since I been on campus so we're gonna be ready for that I'm gonna be ready for that. What's it been like working with coach Reynolds Dean and, and just getting to know him? Oh a uh, little different because he has his way you know and I'm trying to you know feed on his way um, that's obviously why we're taking this trip because we have to come together we have to get to know each other play together to have a chance to make a deep one What's, what's been the biggest adjustment just as far as the style of play for you? Um, biggest adjustment? Um, I can't answer that right now because, you know, obviously we're going to get three games and maybe uh, after three games. I know you're still starting to get to know your teammates and uh, everyone, but I want to ask about Frank Anselm. I know he also speaks a few languages. First, have you confused any of your teammates by talking in a different language during practice? And then just how, how has your relationship kind of been building with him? Uh, obviously, Frank's a good guy. You know, he, he was born in Nigeria. So I, obviously, in Nigeria in Cameroon, where, where I was born is close. So we kind of have these, you know, natural things together. So he's a good guy. Um, we be going each other at practice, so to make each other get better. So, yeah, I like that. Can you speak to the competition that you guys will be seeing in Italy? Uh, yeah. So the pro teams in Italy. Italy is obviously one of the best league mm -hmm. in the world, you know. And the league is called the Serie A, and they got Bologna, who's a Euro League team. They got Milano, who's a Euro League team, and sometimes they got. Um, I think Sassari, but I'm not sure yet. So it's a good competition, and I know coaching staff, they got us a good team to play, you know, just to see where we are right now. So it's going to be fun. You uh, grew up playing soccer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what first drew you to playing basketball? Um, I got taller. <laughs> so, yeah. It was a good thing. I got taller, you know. Soccer is like, you have to. It's really hard, like moving and stuff. So I was getting taller, and I said, "Okay, I'm going to try the new thing." And basketball actually called me. So. So how old were you when that began? Uh, I think 14 and a half, 15. 14, 15. Yeah, okay. when I was going in Italy. Gotcha. How would you say some of those soccer skills translated over to basketball? Uh, footwork. So the footwork really helps me on the court, the basketball thing. Why did you move to Italy, and what age were you? Study, 14 and a half. We'll take two more questions. What even, do you want? even three more. <laughs> what do you want to get out of this trip, just with this team? Um, like I said before, we trying to build something, you know. So we trying to build our culture, and so it's gonna help us a lot. The chemistry, like I said, uh, get to know each other. Obviously, we're gonna have our first game against a different teams, you know, against some people who are not my teammates. So it's gonna be uh, good for us. How much are you looking forward to the season and really getting underway with Georgia uh, for the first time? Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. Sure. Thank